Hey folks, Brian Blessing here in Las Vegas, bangthebook.com. Follow along on Twitter at Bang the Book. Follow me on Twitter uh, at Brian Blessing. Invite you to check out my radio show, Sportsbook Radio and Vegas Hockey Hotline. Shows are archived for you at sportsbookradio.com. You know, we just had Justify in an impressive fashion win the Kentucky Derby. We got the Preakness in a couple of weeks, and there's not going to be much of a wagering opportunity there. It's going to be a small field, and Justify is going to cruise. Uh, but on a daily basis, they are called race and sports books. And just thought we'd talk about some general horse betting tips and little things that can make you a better handicapper playing the horses. Obviously, if you've never done it, uh, you, you get involved, you play names, you box your address, and people do that with the Kentucky Derby. But on a daily basis, once you do your homework, once you start to really get a feel for how to read a racing form, there are legitimate opportunities on the board for you every day. Uh, you know, specifically, if you think you have a horse that's going to tower over a field and he's six to five, the horse player's mentality, many people, is I can beat the horse. And these are the same people that bet 110 bucks to win 100 bucks on a football game that's minus three and a coin flip. If you think you've got a decided edge in a minute and 12 seconds, you can make some dough. I mean, they think of people how proud they are. Oh, I had that team on the money line. They were plus a dollar fifty. You get a horse at eight to five. Uh, but the mentality of the horse players, I'll try to beat the thing. If you got the gift horse right there, take it. Uh, some of the other things you want to look for: the human connections. Don't you need the engine under the hood? It's all about the horse. Uh, but the reading between the lines, trying to figure out what is a trainer thinking. And look for jockey trainer combinations that are successful. Look for equipment changes. Uh, blinkers on, blinkers off, first time LASIX. Trainers are always searching for a change that's going to put their horse over the top. And some are more adept at it than others. When you're reading the past performances, the stats with those specific changes are all there at your fingertips. I'll throw you a sneaky one. And this is one that is an easy one uh, that a lot of people just ignore. And when you say an equipment change, how about a jockey change? If you see a rider that's been on a horse, it's a 7% rider, and he's been on this horse who's been a plotter all along, and all of a sudden they change to a jockey, one of the top jockeys in a colony, who's a 20% rider. Well, the reality is he's 20% for a reason. Mostly he's on better horses because he's got a good jockey's agent, but it's because he can ride better. So a better jockey can actually improve a horse as much as an equipment change in. Yeah, I can. So always look for the riders and give more stock to the jockey. Some people just sight unseen. Oh, it's all about the horse. It's not all about the horse. There's so many intangibles that go into races. And we talk about trainers. Uh, first race off a claim. If a trainer thinks uh, a horse is worth putting twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars up to claim. Uh, People will look for the drop in class. Oh, this horse was racing at 40,000. They're dropping him down to 20. Sometimes that can be a red flag. The one that's actually, uh, the one you might want to saddle up to is the horse that's actually jumping up in class because the trainer claimed the horse for a reason, did his work with the horse, and you're going to get a better price because the horse is running in a tougher class. So you always try to go between the lines, and money management's a big deal. Uh, but don't sleep on the human connections. I, I mean, we could this video, we could go for hours with you. But don't be intimidated by it. Uh, this most simplistic thing, if you're new to it, you want to get involved and you get a daily racing form, it's called the buyer figure. It's the dark, bold number affiliated with each horse. And it's almost like a Cliff Notes version where you can compare the horse's figures to other horses very simply. So if you want to stick your toe in the water, get a racing form, look for the dark, bold numbers attached to each horse, and stick your toe in the water. I think you'll have some fun. The beauty of it is it's a sport where you can bet a little to win a lot uh, with pick threes and pick fours, uh, exact as trifect as the exotic wagers. Uh, it's a great opportunity on a daily basis available to us here in Las Vegas and all across the continent. Check it out. Uh, if you've never been to a track, go. You'll love it. You become a fan, but you'll really love it if you cash a nice winning ticket. And we try to help you along our merry way right here at bangthebook.com.